The statistics are staggering. Last year, Stand Up Placer helped more than 2,000 victims of domestic violence, over 400 sexual assault victims, and in the first six months of this year, nearly 200 victims of human trafficking. It's so vital for this area to be able to provide this kind of service. Jenny Davidson has spent more than 20 years working with victims. Under her leadership as CEO, the nonprofit has seen major changes. We're really trying our best to try and stop it before it happens. Stand Up Placer is now pet friendly and gender inclusive. They were also one of the first 10 organizations in the state to be designated a human trafficking victim service agency. Local and state recognition that led to an international honor. I'm excited to be able to have that voice. Davidson is on an international list of 100 inspiring and influential women created by the BBC. She joins other notables like former first daughter Chelsea Clinton, Stacey Cunningham, the first female president of the New York Stock Exchange, and even people like Amina J. Mohammed, the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations. Definitely humbling. I mean, I'm, I'm in amazing company. The designation comes as no surprise to staff. I think that it will draw attention, uh, positive attention, to what we're doing to help with the survivors that we work for. Debbie Livingood knows the organization well. She's the Safe House Coordinator. It's a place for victims, once even her home, after escaping an abusive husband. I was able to come here and get back on my feet. It didn't take long for me to find out Davidson is passionate about people. Her work is personal. In 2005, her youngest son died only after living 32 hours. She suffered four miscarriages and a divorce, but persevered to ultimately get her master's degree in her late 30s. Now she leads a staff of 45 as a CEO, proof that it's never too late to start over. I have the combination, I feel like, of the heart behind it, the compassion that comes with having a lived experience. Now this special honor gives her an even larger platform to advocate for those who need it most. In Auburn, Brandi Cummings, KCRA 3 News.